Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate it. I don't mind being the lead-off batter. I don't mind being the lead-off batter. Maybe once I get on base, I'll have a couple steals and uh, slide home like Jackie Robinson used to do back in the days. But um, I'm Philip Garrett. Um, I'm a Florida resident. I'm a God-fearing man, a husband, a father of three children, and I advocate for my community, my district, and my city every single day I step out the door. I'm running for the city council of District 5 because I believe I can make a, a greater difference. And that greater difference has to be in bettering our lives, our pursuit for happiness, bettering our budgets. Because every time we uh, work and earn a dollar, it's taxed. And as the Libertarian Party uh, believes in less government, I too believe in less government. And, and that has to do with less taxation. It has to do with more freedoms as we walk out our doors, as we go from, from place to place, as we pursue happiness, as we pursue uh, our lives and, 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 and making our families better. We need support from limited government. We don't need increased government. We don't need increased fees every year. We don't need increased water bills. We don't need more taxation, which takes money out of our pockets. So that's one of the reasons why I'm running, and that's why I came here uh, to the Libertarian Forum to inform you guys that, yes, I do agree with a lot of libertarian uh, ideals, but just as well, I believe in complete, complete unity. And we all have to come together and work together as a city, person by person, district by district, um, to, to make our lives better. I believe in order to make the city better today, we have to work together and have a better future. Now, time. two minutes, okay, that is my time, but I have a lot more to tell you guys, obviously. <laughs> I have 25 years experience in government, in taxation and finance. I currently work for the property appraiser's office in Hillsborough County. Um, I know taxes, I know real estate, I know appraisal. I've been in government since I was, <laughs> I don't even tell you, I guess 20 years old. I was 20 years old. And um, I just know that I'm a civil servant. A lot of people uh, give government employees a bad rap. Oh, government employees, oh, there's a saying, um, uh, just enough for government work. I don't believe that. I believe that government employees do want to make a difference. They do want to not just provide a living or, or to, to support their families, but they do want to make a difference in helping people. And I can't help myself but to work for government. This is what I do. This is who I am. And, and I, we spoke about, I spoke about, and a couple of other people spoke about unity. And, and, and I firmly believe that I am not just a district candidate. I'm a candidate for the city. And I want you guys to understand that when you hear uh, issues like CRA and they map it out in the, to a certain section, I believe in that section needing support, but our city needing support. When I look at the high vacancy rate of our shopping centers, I look at lost jobs. And then when we don't revitalize the entire city or look at the entire city as one, we're really taking tax dollars away from others. So when you talk about what inspires me, you, you guys inspire me. Every single day when I walk through the streets and I smile, you know, I keep that smile because for the simple fact that smiling is more medicine than frowning and not uniting with y'all. So I'm here to serve y'all. That's my job. That's what I do. Another uh, shopping center has a 35% vacancy rate approximately. Another has a 20% vacancy rate. Our district leader in District 5, Steve Cornell, has spent five, four to five years working on one project, the Skyway Marina, for one area, one specific area, and has excluded the western portion of our district where businesses need support and help. I am a candidate and I will be a representative that will support all of my district and make sure we fill those shopping centers with businesses that will create jobs. 
We can't talk about building new buildings in retail shops, and we can't fill the shopping centers that we have in place now. I'm terrified that this is going to happen. I will fight to create jobs for all of us. Remember, we have to be smart about our representatives. We have to vote smart. And right now, our representative is only really working on this one specific project that's not going to bring us jobs and is not going to produce quality services for us all. Keep in mind, keep in mind that we're all working together. This is one city, and we have to work to provide services and opportunities for all of us. Thank you so much.